Hello, it's Keith from Man Publishing, and today I'm going to review the next iteration of the Easy VSL uh, video sales letter creator uh, software. Now, this is Easy VSL 3.0, and they've added some pretty amazing features to it, which I'm going to get to here in just a second. Uh, so basically, uh, they've kind of overhauled some of the core features that uh, that we already love, right? Uh, they have the automatic slide creation, custom slide backgrounds, dozens of custom fonts. Uh, you can insert existing video clips uh, into the VSLs as well. Speech to text uh, video creation, one click translation, and there's a ton of different uh, translations that you can do. Uh, text to speech, built in audio recording, so you can record right inside of Easy VSL. Uh, one click video syndications, uh, you can export slides to PDFs and, pre and presentations, and edit, uh, and of course, a timeline editor as well. Now, one of the, uh, actually, there's two really major features um, that I'm going to show you today that they've added to 3.0, and one is a kinetic style video. Now, if you're not sure what kinetic style video is, um, you, you, I'm sure that you've seen these before in the past, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll show you those in just a second, uh, exactly what I'm talking about there. And what they've also added in is with the use of uh, IBM Watson, they've actually added the ability to now sync your video, uh, excuse me, your audio files with your video, with your e with each slide um, using Watson. So it's manual, so uh, so it's automatic rather. You don't have to manually sync your slides anymore like you did with the pre previous versions. Of course, you still can if you'd like to, but it's pretty cool uh, the way that they've they've uh, innovated and used Watson to help. Uh, sync those auto sync those slides for you. Okay. Now they've also added um, an Im uh, instant image search library. Uh, you can you'll be able to soon import other Easy VSL presentations. Um, there's a sound effects library using integration. Um, so they've added a ton a ton of great great stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in here. I'm going to show you basically pretty much three different things here. I'm going to show you how that auto speech uh, syncs your slides. I'm going to show you what a kinetic style video is. Uh, and then we're going to go into just kind of the more basics of Easy VSL and just show you some of the settings uh, as well as how you would uh, handle and um, uh, uh, importing an existing video right in the middle of your presentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to create a new VSL. And what you're going to have is you can start from scratch um, or you can paste some text in. Okay, and we're going to do the paste here. I have just a little uh, like three or four, I'm uh, sorry, about maybe seven or eight slides uh, that I've created uh, the text for that will go ahead and paste the text. Now, here's where you're going to get the, the choice of uh, the classic style, which is the original uh, original version of VZ VSL, and then as well as kinetic style. Now, like I said, we'll get to kinetic style in just a second. I just want to show you this speech, um, this Watson integration that they've done first. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll just say that this is Watson and we'll hit uh, paste text and we'll hit OK. Now you've, there's uh, tons of different uh, uh, backgrounds that you can choose from. Um, they also have different slide animations that you can do, a ton of different fonts and you can choose your text color here. Right now I'm just going to leave it all kind of default uh, just so I can kind of show you the settings here and I'm just going to pick a, a generic uh, this browser looking uh, looking background. All right, so right here, uh, because I've, I've chosen the paste the text uh, option, I'm going to go ahead and just copy some that I have here and paste it in. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to tell it basically which um, where our uh, where one slide starts and one ends, okay? And you simply do that is there's two ways. You can uh, simply select uh, where you are at here in the text and, and click this add slide mark like that. Or you can go in here and you can hit uh, control enter and it will add that as well. So let's go ahead and create these. So each one of these that I'm adding is now going to be its own slide. Okay, that and that. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll hit next. And you're going to get your opportunity uh, when you're using paste uh, paste text to edit any of these in case you've made a mistake. You don't have to go back, or you can delete. Uh, and you can actually go in here and edit it as well. Uh, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say there. So let's go ahead and hit next. And as you're going to see, here are my slides. So I have seven. Uh, I'm sorry, eight, eight slides. All right. So what I'm going to do is, seeing it's already here, I've already got my slides imported. Now, of course, I can make any kind of uh, adjustments I want. There's a nice little editor here. I can add images uh, if I wanted to search for, just say, fitness images. Okay, there they all are. You can go ahead and add those in. You can also upload your own uh, as well. 
Um, now we also have is the uh, you can add a watermark uh, to the videos as well and of course add more text all right and we have our basic kind of text editor here now what you can also do is write left to right or right to left um, which is kind of a cool little feature um, you know to, to use so now what you also have is the ability to add bulk actions okay because right now you'll notice I'm selecting uh, I'm on frame one here and now frame two frame through and three and so on I can edit these individually if I would like to put different let's say slide animations for each of the slides uh, or I can do a bulk action okay so I can actually just go ahead click the bulk action set one of these that I'd like like maybe slide right and that's gonna basically go ahead and apply that to all of my uh, all of my slides here um, and rather than doing them one by one okay so seeing we have already got all the slides created uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in and hit next okay now what we're going to do is we're going to have Watson go ahead and sync our slides, okay? Now I'm going to show you the manual way to sync slides as well uh, as, as we get into this a little bit, but for this for this uh, this demo here, I'm just going to show you how Watson is going to is going to handle this, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and first thing we need to do is obviously record some audio or import some audio. All right, so we have the audio, so you can import here from an existing audio file. Uh, you can do text to speech from here, or you can record. And I'm just going to record right in here, okay? And basically, all I'm going to do is record uh, based on all my slides, okay? So what I'm going to do is hit record. I'm going to pick the right input here and start. Easy VSL is back and better than ever. As you can see, it's very simple to create stunning, engaging video sales letters in the matter of minutes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. Uh, we have a chance to re-record it, or we can play it back, or we can import it. I'm just going to go ahead and import it right now. All right, great. So now we see that it's here, right? But we just see this one big slide, all right? And that's, of course, not what we want. So we want to have uh, these sunk to sync up with the actual audio, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually use Watson. So I'm going to click this button. Now, uh, a little aside here, what you're going to have to do uh, for to connect to Watson is you're actually going to have to create a free, ac a free account, okay? Um, now, when I say free account, it's free up to a thousand, I think it's a thousand minutes um, of, of, uh, of text, uh, of translation uh, per month, okay? So if you stay under that limit, it's free forever. If you go over that limit in a month, in a month, um, you will pay. I think it's two cents per minute uh, for everything you go on uh, after that. Okay, so what you're going to do when you sign up is you're going to get 30 days for free. Um, you can use as much as you'd like. After 30 days, it's going to prompt you to put a credit card in, but you will not be charged ever if you stay under that thousand minutes um, per month. Okay, if you go over, you only get charged for what you use. It's not like a subscription. You just get two cents a minute. Whatever you use, it's going to charge you for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead I'm just gonna enter in my credentials here and let's see here okay now I have the selected audio now you may have more than one uh, audio track in here because you can have multiples um, but it's only showing me the one because that's all I have right now and we of course have different languages that it can translate into as well all right which is pretty pretty cool all right so we're just gonna go ahead and hit OK um, it usually takes anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes. Just depends how much audio you have. All right, there it is. Everything is now in sync, okay? So as you'll see, I'm going to kind of expand my uh, timeline a little bit. And you're going to see I'm going to play this. And hopefully you guys could hear this. <laughs> All right, so as you see, it did a pretty decent job. I think I talked a little bit fast. Um, as you see, these two did not get, did not sync up. Um, so you definitely, when you're recording, and that goes for any video, you know, that, that you're creating, uh, whether you're going to do it this way or a manual way, you want to make sure that you know, you're obviously going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to make sure that everything is going to sync up. Okay, so that's basically kind of how Watson works. Now, uh, I mean, it's it's very cool. It, it saves a lot of time from having to manually sync everything, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second as well. Before we uh, jump into the kinetic, I'm going to show you that next here. Um, just to show you a couple of the published settings that we have. Um, oh, because we don't have anything synced right there, so it's going to leave those two out. Um, but what we can do is you can choose your destination directory, name it, obviously. 
choose your video quality. You can add some uh, metadata in as well, and then just hit, go ahead, hit OK, and it'll, it'll, it will uh, export that for you. Okay, so very simple to to get done. So as you can see, I mean, it didn't take me very long if I didn't have to explain some of the things uh, to actually create one of these uh, one of these VSLs. All right. So now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and jump over here and do a new VSL, but we're going to do it kinetic style. Okay. So I'll just name that kinetic. And for this one, I believe, let's just go start from scratch. I'll show you kind of both ways how it works, okay? So now what you're going to get is, is uh, about, let's see, there's five templates here. So you're going to get five different templates that, that are going to show you these five different kind of animation styles, okay? So as you can see, and you may have recognized this type of style, they're, they're on a lot of different uh, software sales pages out there now. Uh, it's becoming very, very popular, okay? So this gives you a basically uh, three or four different animations. As you can see, it's kind of changing out there from the first side, second side, and third slide. Um, that you can use to get yourself started, okay? Now, there is uh, one of the uh, the one-time offers that they're gonna be, be giving for the for a pro features are gonna give you a lot more templates, okay? Um, so that is, that is one of the options that you have where you can get, and I'm not exactly sure how many, let me see if I have that uh, written down. Oh, it's just a bundle, okay, so it doesn't really say right now. We'll have to go to the sales page, check it out, and see exactly uh, what you're gonna get uh, for that. But you're actually gonna get more kinetic themes, more graphics, and, um, and the audio, audio file library as well okay um, so let's go ahead and just pick one of these all right so I'm gonna just pick uh, let's just pick the first template here and go ahead and move on to the next all right so now as you can see uh, we've got our slides okay so these are the first these are the three different types of animations that it's gonna allow me to do okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use these three and we will go ahead and put some text in here just so I can kind of show you what this looks like all right so we have let's see let's do uh, something like it's back um, or actually, easy as VSL is back, sorry. <laughs> wow, I'm having a heck of a time here. There we go. All right. Let's do that. Now, of course, we can change, um, you know, add whatever we'd like to add in here uh, as far as your templates go, as far as text goes. We can always change everything out, okay? So it's back better than ever. Um, and we're going to say, let's see, um, you know, very simple to use. I'm just going to make this kind of generic here to use. And we'll go with, you know, only takes a minute, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and just hit to the next so we can kind of take a look at this. All right, so right now we only have the first slide in because we have not have we don't have anything uh, synced to any any type of audio. So I'm going to do that manually here, but I'll just go ahead first and record the audio. Easy VSL is back and better than ever. Very simple to use, only takes a minute. All right, so let that let that uh, do its thing and import it in. Okay, so now we have it. So now what I can do is when I start. VSL is back and better than ever. Very simple to use, only takes a minute. And there it is, and it's sunk. Okay, that's it. So we can start over again and view the whole thing. All right, so that's what I mean by manually syncing things. Okay, now you can use the auto uh, speech recognition here uh, with Watson for the kinetic style videos as well. Uh, so you don't have to do things manually, uh, but I wanted to at least kind of show you what that look like uh, or what these types of videos are. Now, I strongly suggest getting that 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 upsell uh, to get even more templates uh, that, that you can choose from. So it'll have different types of animations on it. Um, now, as I said, you can keep adding uh, more and more slides to these uh, as much as you like, or you can duplicate uh, duplicate these these down depending on which uh, which one you want which, which style you like the first slide second slide third slide and you can use as many as you, as you'd like okay okay so let's go ahead and jump in I'm going to show you how you can uh, you can actually put existing videos and import them right into your slides as well okay so let's go ahead and just start a new one here and we can I guess start from scratch on this one okay all right, so I'll just go ahead and again just pick something generic here. 
and we'll go ahead and put a slide in. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna say, uh, I'm gonna make this real simple and just to <laughs> uh, slide one, and we'll go ahead and add another slide and another slide, and we'll go ahead and, whoops, and put this in slide two. And then what we'll do, oops, actually that was slide three, sorry about that, slide three. And for this one here will be slide two. And then what we'll do is we'll insert a video in between one of these here. So slide two, okay. All right, so now we've got our slides ready. Uh, again, you can put any kind of effects you would like to on the, each of these slides. But what I'm gonna do is actually add a video. Now what I have is just this generic um, little explainer video that I had created uh, a while back. Okay, so we'll put that in, uh, yeah, I guess right here is fine. Okay, so we'll put it in the third the third position. You can of course move these around however you'd like. Um, but we'll go ahead and actually we'll leave it there at number two. Okay, so now, what I've got is my video inserted. All right, now we can add multiple videos. You can you can have more than one, doesn't have to be, be just one. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit next. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of kind of how you would work something where there's a video right in between everything. Uh, I had a couple of questions about this in earlier versions, so I wanted to go ahead and just, uh, just uh, explain it to you guys right now on how you would go about doing this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, a little bit of audio, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and This is slide one. All right, nice and simple. We'll go ahead and import that. Okay, so now I have, this is slide one, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and record the, the other ones, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, is, is the, the point I'm trying to make here is that you have to have two separate audio files that kind of squeeze in between um, or squeeze around the video, right? Because you're not gonna want, you know, most likely audio over your video. You're gonna wanna let it play and do what it wants to do, um, you know, in its, in its time. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly record the other audio here. This is slide two. This is slide three. All right, import that as well. Okay. What we do is we're gonna first just sync our, our first slide and get the, get the actual uh, video into our timeline, okay? And we do that by just hitting play. and then hitting this, okay, because that's where we want this particular video to enter. So as you can see, it's on my timeline right now, uh, the actual video. Now the actual video isn't going to play inside of uh, EZVSL like this. You'll have to publish it to actually see the video, but like I said, it's a pre-made video, so you should already know, hopefully, uh, that it's a quality video and something you want to use, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of that video, wherever that, wherever you want to start that third slide, basically wherever you want to bring that third slide in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and do so, okay? Now, I may not be exactly right on here, but let's give it a shot. This is slide two. This is slide three. And we're done. So that's it. So that's how you have to handle using, uh, inserting video into any of your timelines. Now again, like I said, you can have as many videos as you want. Uh, you can really mix and match, uh, you know, all types of different assets, images, audios, uh, audio files, uh, sound effects, um, which is included in that, that, that first upsell. Um, for the pro version. So that pretty much concludes EasyVSL. It's extremely simple to use. Great new features with the audio, audio, uh, auto speech recognition. That's great innovation um, by the guys from EasyVSL to bring in Watson uh, and allow them to do that, especially if you have a long presentation. Boy, it's going to make it so much easier to sync things up. Um, and it does a pretty good job. I mean, it's it's like 99% accurate. Um, so go ahead. Uh, what I'm going to do is drop a link down, in, down below. You'll see to get over to the page, the learn a little bit more about it and pick up your copy. Um, there also should be a, a link above here right on uh, over the video that you can go ahead and click and it'll lead, it'll lead you over there as well. So go ahead and pick up your copy today and uh, enjoy.